So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. This here is a, a Swift SW150 microscope. Just recently I made a review video of that, of this microscope. Um, it is a, an introductory microscope, but it can do more than you might guess uh, because it's easily possible to upgrade it to polarized light microscopy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, you have to uh, basically add two filters, two polarizing filters. And one I'm going to be adding here um, in this, uh, on this disk. So I have to uh, take it off and add the filter here. And the second filter has to be added somewhere above the specimen slide. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to insert the filter into the objective because it's possible to take it off. And then there is the space uh, to add a small uh, polarizing filter here as well. And uh, then when you want to uh, observe it in polarized light, then all you have to do is, is you have to rotate the disk uh, until the filter, the bottom filter is in place. And if you do not want to use polarized light microscopy anymore, you simply rotate it to an open position where there is no filter. It's actually quite uh, straightforward. And I think uh, that uh, this upgrade is really worth it. So I think I'm just going to get started and show you how I have, to, how I have done that. If you want to convert your microscope uh, for polarization microscopy, then you need uh, polarizing filters. And I found one cheap source. These are so-called uh, 3D uh, stereoscopic uh, cardboard glasses. Uh, and uh, they are uh, quite useful. However, you have to be careful that they are of the correct standard. I'm using so-called real D, the real D standard. I've tried others as well and it didn't work. Um, what you need to do is, is you need to take them apart and find the orientation that uh, when you turn it, that it completely turns black. Okay, if you have the wrong orientation here, it does not turn completely black. Um, so then it's not going to work. Um, there are um, also other polarizing filters that you can buy where you do not have to find the correct orientation because they work um, in either way. Uh, but here, because these are 3D glasses, uh, we have to make sure that uh, they are in the correct orientation. If you put some plastic in between uh, those uh, crossed polarizing filters, then you can see that there are these rainbow colors. It actually shows that the plastic is uh, also kind of depolarizing the light a little bit. It shows that it actually um, it works. To install the filter, I turned my microscope um, upside down and on the bottom side beneath the stage there is this filter wheel which currently does not contain any filters, um, just uh, holes of different sizes and this is a pretty good place uh, to install uh, those polarizing filters. So I carefully uh, took uh, the disc off and I have to now uh, really mind the orientation. It's really important. I have to remember which uh, side of the filter I have to put up and which side I have to put down. Simply unscrewed it, it went off quite easily, that's how it looks like. And I'm simply choosing a, a hole um, of an appropriate size um, and then I'm going to use some sticky tape uh, to put the filter over it. Again, I'm checking the orientation here now. Yeah, So that is the correct orientation, so I have to stick a small piece of the filter over one of those uh, holes here. And uh, just using scissors uh, to cut it off, uh, just make sure that it does not flip around again and then use some sticky tape. And that's pretty much it. So uh, you see that the modification is quite easily reversible. So if you don't like it anymore, you can always uh, take it off. And by rotating the disc, of course, uh, I can have polarized light microscopy or I can have the regular bright field. So it's, it's quite convenient and I'm making a good use uh, of uh, the filter holder. Yeah, so that's basically how it looks like. Okay, I'm checking it again. And uh, then I've installed it back again in, into the microscope. Of course, I kind of trimmed off a little bit. <laughs> it's cosmetics now. <laughs> trimmed off some of the excess sticky tape. Yeah, I installed it. And the second filter has to go over the slide. Um, of course, you can uh, put it directly over the slide and rotate it like I'm doing right now. But this is maybe not the most convenient uh, solution. So I found another place where I can install a filter and that uh, is uh, right above the objective. So I unmounted one of those objectives here and I installed the filter right here um, over the top lens. And uh, yeah, also I used some sticky tape here. Again, I think I don't have to tell you anymore. You have to really mind the correct orientation, that the correct side is up. Again, if you're using uh, other polarizing filters, it does not matter which orientation you're using. And this is now the 10 times magnifying objective, so I I'm, I'm have been doing this on, on, on several of the objectives here. And uh, then everything goes back in and by rotating, uh, carefully rotating the objective, you can adjust it in such a way that it completely becomes dark. 
course the objective wobbles a little bit you have to be careful and you're also losing a little bit of focus uh, but if you know that you can adjust uh, for that by refocusing yeah let's do a little test um, uh, potato starch grains are a very good source here because they're very polari polarizing so I took uh, some potato scratched off put it into a drop of water cover glass goes on top a little bit too much water I had to use some tissue paper and this is how it looks like okay yeah, and now I'm rotating uh, the objective and see it turns now bright and when I continue rotating it, it becomes black but the starch grains, those uh, white dots, they basically, because they are changing the polarization of the light, they re remain bright. Uh, again, it's a little bit wobbly because the objective is, is not uh, screwed in completely, okay? Um, yeah, again, I'm rotating the objective and you see everything becomes bright and now the background becomes dark again And that's the the, the, the position that you want to remember. Okay, I'm changing now the, the, the magnification as well Okay, I, I might have to refocus. Yeah, no, no, not my magnification this is now without the polarizing filter Okay, you see that the starch grains, uh, they just look bright as well Just in a second, I'm going to change uh, the magnification. I just made a little mistake here in my commentary moving around again, yeah, rotating the rotating the objective and yeah and uh, this is now the next higher magnification now here we go okay i have to refocus and when you refocus you see the starch grains are much larger of course and uh, yeah let's try to find a different place and yeah they look quite nice and by rotating the objective i can again make the background darker and uh, i might have to refocus again here so that's basically um, how it works. Uh, right now at the end I'm just going to show you um, a couple of more pictures that I've made and uh, to show you how when you take photographs and you do a little bit of uh, color and con contrast adjustment, those starch grains really look beautiful and there are so many other things that you can look at uh, using polarized light. This is without polarized filters. So I think uh, that's it uh, for today. Um, yeah, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel if you uh, like it. Uh, do consider um, also writing maybe some comments if you've also done some experimentation uh, using the, this microscope here. Well, and uh, happy micro hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.